Hello and welcome back to Pac-Man Re- a Pac-Man World Repack, should I say? So, we face HMS Windbag, the first boss in the game, and he is fought in a unique way. Um, in fact, each of the bosses is fought in a unique way. But yes, HMS Windbag is a giant cartoon ship who, who the first half of the fight is just chasing you, seriously. Um, if you get any fruits, they do add towards your um, bonus. Keep in mind that HMS Windbag is also destroying each of the platforms as you move along, so you want to keep moving. Seriously. Um, well, uh, other than that, uh, we also have the choice of taking the upper route where there's more fruit, or the lower route. Needless to say, I didn't put bounce in time, so I'm taking the lower route. So yeah, and here, well, this is where the fight really gets started because over here, firstly, Talkman will make an appearance, which he did not in the PS1 game, and this was actually featured actually in the um, trailer for this game, seriously, but now we finally get to see that HMS Windbag as an enemy actually has some eyes here. Seriously, his sail actually has some eyes, it looks like some sort of cartoon character, but in order to damage the ship, what you actually have to do is um, use the cannons as they appear. Keep in mind that while this happens, HMS Windbag will keep firing at you, so yeah. Um, and you have to do it before he destroys the cannons, and that's... Um, well, we'll see. Um, the more he does get damaged, the better. Um, so yeah. Meanwhile, what will happen with uh, the targets is that um, they will bounce back the cannons at him. They're only up for a short period, however, so yeah. Every time he does get damaged, he will um, either... Uh, well, one of the cannons will um, either drop a, um, a fruit or, um, dare I say, a thing there. So yes, quite a fun little boss fight and quite an easy boss fight as well. Uh, so yeah, now there's just three bombs there, seriously. Uh, but never mind. I'm losing my brains here, so bounce them back. There we go, and... Um, what else can I say? More bombs. Yay. Again, avoiding the bombs isn't too hard, actually, to be fair, so that's fine. Um, after a while, um, well, it does get repetitive. He doesn't seem to speed up yet, which is what a lot, even of the early bosses. Okay, now he is. Now he's pissed off. Okay, and he destroys the platform, luring you to an, uh, to an area with more targets. However, his rate of fire is a bit quicker now as well, and each of the things do not pop up as quickly, so yeah. Um, keep in mind that each of them, and he also fires in a row apparently. Yeah, that is a thing with the uh, HMS Windbag. Just be careful of where he is firing and everything. Um, doing this right, you can actually easily damage him, seriously. Um, um, but wait for the next boss, Anubis Rex. Um, um, one boss that did give me a headache, well, well, less of a headache than King Galaxian, but um, we'll get to that. I am doing this wrong. I am absolutely doing this wrong here. I should have actually ground pounded it a lot quicker there, but never mind. Okay, so he has one unit of health left. Well, let's see. Uh, bounce? No, nope, no bounce. Of course not. That's what not what he does, and thankfully, really, um. Even for a boss like that, um, only took one unit of damage. Don't count on me doing a flawless run on e. Well, I won't flawless, but yeah, almost one damage run. But never mind that. Anyway, we have defeated HMS Windbag, so now we gain access to the next area, which is the ruins area. So in order to do that, we need to um, head back to the thing there. So that, the ruins area is located to the left of the pirate area, so yeah. It is interesting at least, so let's go through here and Crisis Cavern. Okay, well this one's gonna be, a, I'm not sure if it's gonna be annoying or not, but we'll see. Because um, here is where things really get tough for Pac-Man in terms of water. I mean, he doesn't drown, I've already said that, like in Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong games, maybe the 2D Mario games, so that isn't a problem for Pac-Man, it's keeping underwater. Oh, it was tougher in the original game, 
Yeah. Actually, also, also actually swims a bit easier in this game than he did in uh, Pac-Man World on the PS1, but yeah. Needless to say, the um, spiders can only be but stomped. Indeed, they can be, so yeah. What do we have here? Pellets, whatnot. Uh, nothing else much extra life, I guess. Don't count on me keeping all of these lives, though. Not when I reach where uh, Top Man's final stage is, which is... Actually, for a place that's called Ghost Island is notably a haunted house sort of scenario. Seriously. Um, and given that you saw in the opening cutscene that Top Man was hosting his party, um, or at least the ghosts were before Top Man came in, um... Um, inside the thing, then yeah. Anyway, that being said, I'm gonna go up here and make my way through here. Now, um, this is actually quite dark, this area, seriously, but um, I'll try. It's not easy to see in here, seriously, it's not, uh, but never mind. Uh, I'm gonna have to die here, aren't I? Yep, especially with the placement of the spring, seriously. It's not easy to see unless you put it on full brightness and everything. Trust me, I did fall down here quite a bit. Yeah, seriously, that's me fumbling around in the dark. When you can somewhat see them, it's not completely pitch black in here, but it can be. So bounce, bounce, etc, etc. Go through here and we get a giant uh, rock to the head. Yay! Google yay. Okay, so I'm stuck here. There is a, um, a thing there, and oh boy, that was death. Here is this area where we can ground pound this switch, which will bring down a elevator. And that was in the area where I, I think I went through with the thing, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm, I'm actually going to go here. Well, of course I am, there's only one way up. Seriously. Okay, so those um, pressure pads trigger traps, namely belt boulders. Well, uh, at least uh, unlike with Indiana Jones and Crash Bandicoot, uh, Pac-Man has it easy uh, when be having to deal with boulders. Seriously, they only drop on his head instead of just be chasing him and pretty much uh, get, uh, squashing him flat. At least in Crash's case, I don't want to think about Indy's case, so, yeah, okay, um, so, that being said, I'm gonna head to the right, and that is the only way to go, it seems, because of that. Yeah, it's easy to actually get lost in here, seriously, because, I mean, uh, the whole design of these levels is still quite linear. True, there are some branching pathways, but other than that, still quite linear. So you may well find yourselves, as I have done in many of these, many, certainly in the first Pac-Man world, which is, this one's a remake of, of course, um, going around in circles. Okay, so now we have um, the ghosts in, you can only describe as some sort of Egyptian get-up. That's what I'm, I'm gonna say here. There's a, they're holding, what are they holding there? Pickaxes or something? Anyway, let's eat them up for dinner. Seriously. And then we can jump the gang and get the other ones there. Um, likewise with the mazes, if you get a power pellet, you can be big Pac-Man for longer. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but never mind that. Got some more health. So that's good. If anything, were there that many? Um, I'm not sure, because, as I say, I only played, I haven't played the um, um, original PS1 version since 2018, and I just gave up after, um, let's say, King Galaxian. This one, however, this one does have an easy mode, at least, so if you get stuck, you can do that. I'm going to ignore the metal spider, because I'm headed down here. And in this area, we do have some spiders as well. If you want to get back up, there is another elevator right there. Uh, so yeah, although we can come down here and get the seeing Pac-Man's name. Oh yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, although more fumbling around in the dark, but never mind that. If there's anything I do find annoying here, it is that one pitfall that I might have thought that you fall down, but apparently not. There are also some like stalactites above your head, which will damage you. 
Seriously, that's a thing? Stupid um, spiders. Uh, other than that, yeah. A genuine sort of room level with your hazards and what the hell, why did I stop? Over here is the M in Pac-Man's name. I'm just going through the same motions I am was doing with Lucky, aren't I? If anything, these block enemies are interesting looking, I guess. They do shoot fire. Be careful of that. Actually, do they? You know, they do also look a bit sad. Seriously. It's like they don't want to work for Top Man. Seriously, at least the ghosts seem to be having a good time. But um, no, not these blockheads. Literally, blockheads. Um, down there is another switch. That's a number two switch. And also another elevator to take us down there. So yeah, I'll use that. And, well, you know it's the A in Pac-Man's name. Which is good. But, can I ground pound? Yes. And that brings back the elevator. Okay, so what was the point of that? I don't know. But, um, it is necessary to get back up. So yeah, but... Um... More of these... Did they respawn? I don't know. But here we have a giant waterfall and a pool and a way of getting up via the elevators, of course. Did I not see that um, spider there? I'm gonna say no, I didn't see the spider because that was weird. But never mind. I have to jump over the trap at least. Um, so yeah. Do I want that door? I don't know. And I don't even need to boat bounce to get it or anything like that. Another spider there. Again, round pound him. What bounce should I say? Yeah. It, it, they only, those um, things only seem to affect you if you actually stand on them. Seriously. The way Pac-Man jumps in this game is very different, uh, dare I say, to how it was um, in uh, some other games. I mean, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but from my experience, I don't think it was that high in the... Uh, the original Pac-Man world on the PS1. Um, I'm just going by from memory here. But yeah, I can easily jump over it. He's jumping out. He just was right over them, does Pac-Man in this game. Seriously. I'm honestly um, shocked how uh, fun... Well, th this is a fun platformer anyway. So was the original. Anyway, we needed the bananas to open this door because there's nowhere else out of here. Seriously, so back in the water you go, um, Pac-Man. Um, as you can see, there are some annoying fishies down here. Similar to the uh, cheap tubes in the Mario games. Or oh, like Big Bertha or something, um, to be honest. Yeah, they will chase you ad nauseum through there. And thank goodness for the metal dot. I will need that to get the treasure in here. Oh yes, some more health, and you can defeat the fishies, thank goodness. Yes, and weirdly enough, um, uh, with, the, with the metal dot, seriously, it, it, it actually enhances the boat bounce. It actually bounces a bit higher from what I can see, seriously, and from experience here. Seriously, that, that, that's insane! Anyway, here's our maze, at least. Uh, yeah, set in the ruins. The other annoying thing to add are the boulders. They will drop on your head. You will note on the ground there are actually cracks in the ground. And indeed, that sets off the trap. So yeah. Um, unfortunately, the ghosts are nowhere near Pac-Man. So I cannot have him eat them. Okay, maybe one or two of them, but not much. And that one's... Uh, I think that's... Oh dear. Uh... So, yeah, I think I will head to the right there and um, basically try and eat the ghost that way. But other than that, two for one, baby. Seriously, maybe two for two if I'm going to go over that. Let's see. Probably not. I got stuck in the wall there, which is not great. So I will head up here and just make my way through here and um, gobble up the remaining ones. Okay, another two left? Okay. Uh, don't count on me doing every single one, getting all of the uh, dots there, but... Yeah, um, it is nice that they kept the mazes from the original game. Again, Pac-Man World 2 is also the, also the case for that. 
And you will note that these blue blocks are now in play. That is part of easy mode, which can be activated from the pause menu. Yes, I found it so hard that I actually did use easy mode. And it, it doesn't function like uh, something like... Um, they don't even say it's something like the... Um, the guiding, like... Well, Mario Galaxy or... Um, Indeed, Donkey Kong Country Returns, it doesn't sacrifice your points or anything like that, so feel free to use it. But it, it feels like the, um, the Super um, uh, Tanuki Leaf from uh, Super Mario 3D World, seriously. Um, I'm still missing something, however, but never mind. That's gonna be a thing here, isn't it? It most certainly is, and so be it. I'll make my way up here with uh, Pac-Man and hope that I don't get hit. Now these annoying um, swinging log traps are very annoying as hell. Very much annoying as hell. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way. Okay, does did did I activate that switch? I'm gonna say yeah, I did. Weirdly with the um, um, invincibility frames, I actually did survive that. I um, don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just going in circles, so yeah. Um, and I just got cornered in the corner, and yes, I'm gonna go by that. Yeah, seriously. Pressing that switch activates the um, swinging log trap. I don't want to go by the metal spider, seriously. Instead, I'm just gonna go straight up and um, go this way to the right. This one seems to have already have activated. Uh, you can use the boat bounce to get past there, but honestly, I cannot. I, do I actually have the lemon before I go on? Uh, let's see, any lemons on there? Doesn't look like it, but I could be wrong. Actually, yeah, no, 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 I am wrong. Um, there is a lemon there, so that's good. So now I will just run to the other side and um, hopefully get the thing there. There we go, and just gives me a melon. Seriously, that is a thing. And then uh, we'll just have him run to the top. Seriously, nothing much else I can say. And I'm getting my ass kicked again, so let's get through here before I do die. Thank goodness for the bug bounce, that's all I'm going to say. And over here, well, this opens up the Top Man statue. Yeah, and this time I do have all of the Pac-Man letters, so we can actually sh show the bonus stage. And these are interesting. Basically, how the bonus stages work in Pac-Man World is that they um, basically have you collecting various fruits and everything just for your score, really. Um, so yeah, this one is not changed in any way between levels, just between zones, so yeah. But it's, the goal is to collect as much stuff as possible. Wow, I got lost through there, but never mind. Um, seriously. Other than that, that is still fun. But yeah. I don't know. Why am I not bouncing correctly? I don't know. Let's go down here and get a sort of load of goodies before time runs out. I think you're given about a minute or so to do it. Uh, but don't quote me on that. It might be actually half a minute, so 30 seconds. But other than that, yeah. And there we go. I think that's it. So indeed, uh, with that done, I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!